Hey guys. Can y'all hear me out there? Go ahead and chat on the side if you can hear me. Just waiting for people to, to log in. Give it a couple minutes. Trying to fix an issue at the same time while I'm talking to you guys, so I'm doing a little bit of double duty here. to see if something will work. I'm not sure if it will or not, but I'm trying. I got a couple people in there. Hey, y'all give me just a couple minutes here. I'm trying to fix something for somebody. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm trying to trying to fix an issue for somebody uh, there's there's supposed to be a way to watch Facebook live without having Facebook and uh, I haven't figured that out yet but uh, I'm trying because somebody I found out doesn't have Facebook and I'm trying to get them to where they can watch it so I see some people are on here and uh, one place so again I'm not sure if they can do it or not, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to fix that while I let you guys get on there. Hallelujah. I'm playing network guy at the same time. I'm trying to embed it in a website and it ain't going to work. Alright. So what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how to get it on there. Can you hear me okay? Can somebody give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I'm trying this other headset because I left mine at home. So, waiting on a, anybody, can you hear me now? Somebody, give me a heads up if you can hear me. Yep, hello. I don't know if you can hear me. Was that a, you can hear me, Linda, or hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Uh, yes, they can hear me. Okay, thank you. Well, I didn't know if somebody was liking it or not. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm going to ask them if I can FaceTime them real quick. At least I'll set it there and they can listen to the whole thing. All right, well, that's okay. Letting people get on here anyways. Uh, let people jump in real quick. And uh, hey, one thing just uh, while I'm waiting on people to get on here. Uh, oh, thank you. Finally, uh, Brittany, somebody said, yes, we can hear you. Oh, there's Miss Minnie. She beat you to it. I'm sorry. I, I wasn't looking up from the bottom. Yeah, because when you give me a thumbs up, I'm like, I don't know if you're just saying hi. I don't know what you're saying. So, but uh, anyways, hey, I'm sporting my... Sporting my Marksville High School track and field today. Uh, yeah, you know, I finally got a shirt for being helping out with the team, and then this year we didn't get to do anything. So, but that's okay. We'll get there. Uh, but I've got a couple people on here. But anyways, also, uh, I still haven't got that Ford Raptor because the government haven't given me one free. So, uh, make sure when when you're doing these uh, watch parties and all that kind of stuff. Tell people to like the channel, like like our I'm sorry, the channel, our Facebook page, uh, New Life Assembly of God or New Life Marksville, because when they do that, they automatically get notified uh, whenever we do stuff. So we need to make sure we're we're telling people to like the page there, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll get that count up so people are notified whenever I send things out a little bit more, as well. And uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and try to post it up to YouTube for, for those that weren't able to watch uh, on the Facebook side. But Facebook supposedly has done some changes where there's a link now that you can watch without having a Facebook account. But uh, I have no idea where it is. I'm looking all over the screen here, and everything has changed so much 
that I couldn't even tell you where that link is, but nothing says that specifically. So anyways, I'm going to move on past that. It's been about five minutes. So um, just wanted to, to give a little bit of update here. Uh, if you're watching and you don't know who I am, my name is Richard. I'm the pastor at New Life. And uh, let me move this up a little bit. Uh, and I'm just I'm glad that you've tuned in with us tonight. I'm just trying to give a little update on where we're at. Uh, you know, Sunday is Palm Sunday. Sunday after that, of course, is Easter, and we're also still supposed to be quarantined in our homes. Uh, looking out my window here, there's a lot of cars passing by, and there's a lot of things going on. So, but that's okay. As long as people are holding their social distancing, it's okay. Um, but as you also know, tomorrow is the first, and we generally do our first Wednesday worship. We are going to do first Wednesday worship like we normally do. Um, we will have the, uh, the the videos on there that we play like we normally do also. Uh, now, YouTube sometimes kicks us off because of that, because of uh, we're playing someone else's videos. But we're just going to say whatever, right? People can tune into Roku. They can tune into the Internet, Facebook, and all the other avenues that we're, we're streaming from. At this point, YouTube is one of the lowest uh, numbers that we have on all of our different venues. So if somebody does get kicked off of there, on the website I have three other options for them to watch so they will still be able to watch and uh, they'll just have to move to another avenue because we have Christian World Media Roku Apple TV uh, Church Online and then YouTube and then Facebook so we're always trying to uh, add some more things in there as well but we are going to do first Wednesday worship tomorrow night we are going to have a couple people there and uh, as the Lord leads we're going to prophesy we're going to release words over over you know the congregation even though we're, we're not all necessarily in the building together we are going to do that so we're going to try to have first wednesday worship like we normally do and uh, i know they're always very powerful so uh hopefully we will have that that same kind of uh atmosphere uh with the presence of god in the service and you know you in your home can can have that same type of atmosphere as well so uh, be praying with us for, for First Wednesday worship because we're we're looking at inviting some other uh, churches to come along and just worship with us on that night because you know we're just we're trying to just people need worship right now they need they need to be able to to, to push out the things of the world uh, I'm in the process of writing an article for the newspaper here and you know one of the one of the things that I made mention of in there let me pull it up real quick uh, is the fact that uh, you know, we need to turn off all the noise, uh, turn off all the noise because we're watching so much. We're, we're reading newspapers. We're reading articles on Facebook. We're watching television and we're listening to fake news. And it's just a lot of noise. And, and we just need to push it back. Right. We need to push it back and get into some get into some scripture again. And I want to I want to bring that to you tonight before I get into the other exciting things. Uh, Psalms 46. Uh, if you have that, you can. You can flip over to Songs 46. You know, this thing has a screen share. I've never done this. But let me see if it will let me share. That would be really, really cool. Um, hmm. But it shows everything else. Uh, application window. See, I'm learning so much. I've, I've never used some of this stuff. Okay, awesome. So now you guys are seeing my screen right here. Psalms chapter 46. Uh, it says, God is our refuge and strength. An ever-present help in trouble. I don't know about you, but but this is ever-present right now. Uh, ever-present help in trouble. And uh, I, I need God right now more than I need the media. I need God right now more than I need uh, anything else. <laughs> so God is our refuge and strength and an ever-present help in trouble. And uh, in the next line, I, I took it off for you, but uh, therefore... We will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. The waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There's a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. And, and that's where we have to dwell, guys. That's where we have to dwell is in the city with our God. And we have to we have to spend time in worship. We have to spend time reading the word and prayer and, and put all these things together and, and turn off the noise turn off the noise. Uh, I, I know there's so much going on, but we are in information overload right now. And, and I, myself, I'm on the internet all day working on my, my computer and all the different things, and it just gets to be too much. 
It gets to be way too much. Uh, so I just want to encourage you to go back to the scriptures. Sit down in the morning when you wake up and read a scripture. You know, read two or three scriptures. Read a chapter. But just, just allow that, right? Because the, the, the Bible says the washing of the word. And it's washing what? It's washing my mind. It's, it's taking out those things I don't need. I don't need fear. I don't need worry. You know, all, all everything's working out. Everything's going to be okay. But if we continue to allow the noise to come in, we won't hear the word of God. We won't hear the voice of God because things are too loud, right? The worries overpower us. Amen. Uh, so I just wanted to, to bring that to you. That's Psalms 46. Go read that tonight. Um, so, but hey, looks like we got some more people joined in there. We got April. Hey, girl, what's going on? Uh, Peggy. Hey, thanks, Peggy. Thanks for tuning in. And and uh, so we got we got Jose down there. We got Mike. Got my buddy Ricky used to be in the Navy with me and Brittany, Miss Minnie, uh, Tammy, Linda. Let's see who else we got in there. I'm just going down to Beverly's up there at Beverly, the first one in there, of course. Uh, and we're, as it, let's see. We have to not complicate his word. We need to take his word as it is. Continue to come to him like children. Yes, thank you very much. So I wanted to bring that to you to, to, to give you something to, to be thinking on and praying. And then tomorrow night when we come into First Wednesday worship, which will be at 6.30 p.m. Central Time, um, I'll, I'll make sure that, that you're there. Make sure you share it. We're going to start it about five minutes early. Share it to all these different places and let people enter into worship with us. Amen. Because, again, it's going to be like we normally do. We'll have the YouTube videos going. And if somebody feels there was going to be a few of us in the room there, we're going to come up. We're going to speak a prophetic word. We're going to release what God is, is speaking to us. Okay. Uh, and we're going to do that. Uh, some other exciting things that are coming. Uh, we're, we're trying to get all this worked out. But, uh, of course, this is all dependent on the weather. Okay, so, uh, again, Palm Sunday is this Sunday. And depending on the weather, we may, okay, keyword here is may, right? I'll make sure you find out about it if I'm able to pull this off. We're going to work very hard to do this, but it's all dependent on the weather. Is we're going to try to do a parking lot service. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put a couple speakers outside so you can hear. We'll move the worship team out to where you can see it because, again, that's why it's weather related, right? If it's storming, we definitely can't do that. But uh, you'll be able to come into the parking lot and stay in your car, right? Open the doors and listen, uh, and, and you'll be able to do that. And uh, we're hoping to be able to do that Sunday. But uh, I finally found uh, an FM transmitter. I, I've been searching for weeks and weeks for one of these. Um, and, and what it is is just a little box. I plug it into the soundboard. I've used them in the past. There's such a low wattage that really if you're outside of our parking lot, it won't even work. So what we'll do is, is you'll be able to come in and turn your car radio to whatever station we find is available in our area. We'll make sure you know that. You'll be able to pull into the parking lot, turn your station, your FM radio on in your own car, and listen to the service live. And we will be right there under the front awning. So that you can see us, we'll have the live worship team, we'll have the, the live preaching, but you'll stay in the car. And again, as long as the weather is okay, this Sunday we will use the speaker because uh, the, the transmitter is coming. It's coming from China. Pray for us. We're going to disinfect it first, but uh, it's, it's going to take some time, right? And it's the only one I've been able to find. Uh, and so hopefully it'll get here before this Sunday, but I really don't think so. But either way. Uh, if everything's good, we'll have the speakers out there for you to be able to come into the parking lot. You won't be able to come into the building. You'll have to stay in your car, right? Uh, I've talked to uh, our district attorney, and, uh, you know, you have to stay in your car. We're, we're going to try to practice that. Uh, so you'll be able to come to church and do that. Now, even more exciting than that is, is Easter Sunday. I have ordered the little cups. Uh, I should have took a picture. That would have helped you guys. It's a communion cup that's got the wafer built into the top, right? So we can order those. When we get them in, we'll keep them sealed in the box. And that way on Easter Sunday, we can take communion together. And, and what that would look like is, is, is we would have people, uh, we'll put some masks on them if we have to, with some gloves, and we'll basically come and pick them up and drop them into your hands so that you don't have to worry about touching, right? So we can keep our six foot distance and uh, practice safety. Uh, and we'll put them in your hands and you'll basically open them up and get the bread and open them up and drink the juice. So we will be able to take communion together on Easter Sunday, uh, at least on Easter Sunday. So, cause they won't be in until next week. 
uh, again, everything is so backed up on shipping. There's no such thing as Amazon Prime right now. Um, there's nothing overnight, two day, three day. Everything's like a week. So that's what we're trying to do for for Easter Sunday is is to have the communion so that we can all come together as a as a family and a body and uh, take communion together. And uh, hey Troy, how you doing down there? I see Troy finally tuned in. Um, and so you know we're gonna do that. So that's some exciting stuff that that since since the uh, the state you know they're looking at now to the end of April. We've got to find another way besides just online. I don't know about you, but but online is nice, but it does not it does not fulfill the need that I have to assemble and and be with like believers, right? Even if I'm just waving at you across the parking lot, waving at you on the screen. Guess the only thing I see when I'm on my screen is me. Yeah, so uh, you know it's going to be a little bit extra work on us, but I think we're all up to it, and um, we'll be able to do that. And the other thing is, is, uh, is you know, we're going to invite everybody to come. Now, I think our parking lot right now has about 70, around 70 spaces. So we may have to jam some cars in, uh, but that's okay. We're, we're not crying about that, right? And uh, that means we'll be able to do this on Easter at least. And uh, we'll be able to, uh, yes, ma'am, as many as I miss my family too. We miss you. And uh, hey, Barbara, how you doing? I see somebody else is tuned in over here. Uh, and so we're going to try to figure out how we can do this and remain safe at the same time. Because again, we don't want this to keep spreading. We're praying against it. I believe God is is killing this virus. But at the same token, we want to respect the, what the leaders have given us. Uh, those people that are a lot smarter than I am. Uh, I know a lot of things about a lot of things, but I've never been a scientist. I don't want to be a doctor. I have no desire to learn about that stuff. So when they tell me they want certain six feet and all this, we're, we're just going to try to follow that and uh, so we can get rid of this crazy virus so we can all get back to our lives again. Amen. I, I know if I said amen on that one in church right now, I would have a unanimous amen. So um, we're going to we're going to start doing some things on that. And listen, I want to challenge you also, uh, like I did Sunday, to pray for your community. And what I mean by that is the houses that are right around you. That is your community. That is your Jerusalem. Pray for them, right? And if everybody prayed for the houses that were around them, everybody would be getting prayed for by somebody else and maybe two or three somebody else's, okay? So I want you to continue to pray for people around you. Why? Because not everybody is taking this so well, okay? Some people are really starting to struggle with with uh, being stuck in home, the quarantine. Uh, people, you know, I, I know that they're sending out these these checks and everything, but none of that comes today. And some people have needs today, amen. And so pray for them. Pray the peace of God that surpasses all understanding would just would just flood their homes, okay? Pray that that if they don't know Christ, that they will come to know Christ during this time, because I, I do believe that there's. There is a push coming where, where people are going to flock to the church. Amen. They're, they're going to flock to the church because they, they need hope right now. And the government can send checks, but that's not hope. All right. Money is not hope. We know that as a family. And so we need to make sure that, that people have hope. And that only comes through Jesus Christ. Amen. So uh, make sure you're praying for the people around you. Make sure you're encouraging people daily. Call somebody on the phone, right? Just, just call them on the phone. Hey, how are you doing? You know, I, I was writing something the other day, and, and, and I think I made mention of this Sunday just a little bit uh, as well, that, that the reason we don't call each other is because we really don't know each other. So if we don't know each other, it's awkward, right? We'll, we'll text them or we'll message them on Facebook, and, and that's okay, but call them on the phone. Call them on the phone and talk to them. Hey, brother, hi, sister, how you doing today, right? You know, hey, can I pray for you? Or, hey, can I, can I give you an encouraging word? Or just, just do those kind of things. Why? Because right now we're all separated. We're all separated except through camera and through digital. But there's still something about a voice that talks back to you. Because right now, again, I'm reading the amens on the side, but I don't hear any of it. So call them on the phone. We have the technology. Call them on the phone. You know, text message is great. Send them a text message. Say, hey, can I call you? And, and just talk to people. Because right now there's so much isolation going on. That, that I believe it's going to begin to affect people because what's happened is as people have been separated and after a while of being separated, they're going to get used to that. And that's going to become their new normal. 
And, and that's the same thing we have to worry about with the church is people are going to become so accustomed to sleeping in on Sunday morning that they're not going to come to church. They're going to think that I can live my life without God. And that's a dangerous place to be. Amen. So, you know, I want to encourage you to call people on the phone. Be praying for them. There, there's The government is releasing checks to people in, in all these different financial ways. Uh, so there's going to be money flowing. But again, you're not supposed to be out on the streets just running the roads. You're not supposed to be in the stores and all that. So I want to encourage you to continue to be safe. Okay. Uh, we're continuing to pray for you as our family of, of believers. This is our church family, and, and we pray for you. I pray for you daily. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. This has been my prayer. Uh, I've, I've prayed this over a few people specifically with, with issues in, that were going on medically in their life. And I want to challenge you to pray this over your family as well. Okay, So if you're the, the man of the house uh, or if you're the woman of the house, if you don't have someone there with you, pray this over your home and over the family that lives there. Okay, Just as in Egypt, the death angel had to pass by when the blood of the lamb was applied to the doorpost, right? You see the door behind me, the doorpost, the blood of the lamb, well, that's difficult. The blood of the lamb was applied to the doorpost. The death angel had to pass by. As the blood of the lamb is applied to the doorpost of my heart, right? Jesus is the door, okay? As the blood of the lamb is applied to the doorpost of my heart, that virus must pass by. And I plead that over my family. Okay, so just as the death angel had to pass by in Egypt because the lamb, the blood of the lamb was applied to the doorpost, the virus must pass by because the blood of Jesus Christ is applied to my heart. And I speak this over my family and I declare it over them. The virus must pass by. It cannot stay here. It has no no right to be here anymore. Amen. So I, I want you to just just pray that over your, your family. Okay. Uh, another thing uh, you, you can do, I've, I've told you this before, is is take communion as a family. Grab you some Ritz crackers and some juice, uh, some bread. It doesn't matter. It, it's a symbol that the Lord gave us in the word of God is to come together and break the bread. So I challenge you to do that in your family as well. OK, break the bread. And, and Lord, as your body was broken for me, it was broken for my healing. And I receive it now and I take this bread and I receive health into me. And you give that to your family. So again, you're releasing that. What are we doing? We're praying the word of God. We're speaking the word of God. And there's more power in that than, than anything I can say. There's power in the word of God. Amen. So I want to challenge you to do those things. I want you to just continue to encourage each other and call each other and pray for each other. But it's going to be something else that when, when we get to come together Sunday, as long as the weather is going to be good, we, we're going to try to do this so we can have a parking lot service. But when we get the FM transmitter in, everybody will just be able to turn their radios on and we'll get to start having some form of church again. Amen. So uh, do those things and uh, make sure, again, you're reminding people to like the Facebook page. Uh, and listen, if you need prayer or you have someone else that needs prayer, remember, they can call the prayer mail line. OK, remember, it's the church number 318-253-4361. OK, I'm going to put it down here in the in the uh, in the comments again. 318-253-4361. Okay, that, that line is 24-7. They can call that line if you need prayer, and we'll immediately forward it out to, to our, our prayer team. You leave, a vo you leave your, your prayer and your name and contact number, and somebody can contact you back and pray for you. Okay, That's, it, it basically sends it to me as an email, uh, and it's generally within a few seconds of the call being done. OK, I can't guarantee in the middle of the night that I'll that I'll know it came in or something. But we're, we're doing our best on that. Amen. when people call in. So so there's all of that stuff. Uh, I want to give you just a couple other pieces of information uh, on on Sunday. We, we had a, a really good crowd of people watching on our, our onlines and our Facebooks and all. And so we just want to continue to do that because, again, we know there's people without hope. And right now people will tune in that may not have ever came uh, they come to a church before, so we're we're being able to get into their homes in a way that you know they've never thought possible, and connect to them. And, and can I tell you that you know we we missed family day last week, but I think we're going to schedule one heck of a family day whenever we get to have our first service again. Amen to that. We're gonna have some worship. We're gonna have some hugging. We may even have some uh, burnouts in the parking lot, uh, but don't get caught. I'm not telling you to do that. 
you'd had to see my Facebook post to, to know that. But uh, we're going to have a family day. We're going to have a time of fellowship together when we finally get to come back together as a family and be all in one place at one time in the church house. Amen. Uh, so if you need anything, make sure you call. Um, we're in the office a bunch right now. Uh, and Nancy's doing doing a lot better, but she's still hiding out because we're trying to keep her safe uh, with her with her lung issues that she already had. And uh, and actually, she's uh, getting ready for a wedding tomorrow night. Jonah's uh, going to go ahead and have their wedding tomorrow night, so you'll be praying for them as well. And uh, they're going to go ahead and do their wedding. It's just going to be a small ceremony, but that's okay. It's about time them to get married. And uh, they don't have to worry about it anymore. Amen. So listen, let me pray for you. I love you. And uh, we're going to go out and do God's work. Amen. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you as I come to you now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the family that we have, the family of believers. Even though we're scattered around right now, we are the family of God, the children of God. And Lord, I pray a blessing over their homes right now, financially, that they will have every need met. Lord, that they will not even worry about stimulus money or anything else because all of their needs will be met and on time in the name and the power of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I just release health and divine health into their families right now, into those homes. Lord, again, as the death angel had to pass by the blood being on the doorpost, the blood of the lamb of Jesus Christ is on our doorpost of our heart. It must pass by our homes as well. I declare that over them right now, that they are safe in the hands of God. They are safe in your hands, God. Your spirit resides with them. And I thank you for watching over us. And Lord, we can't wait till we get to come back together again and all be together in one place. And I thank you for what you're doing. Even in the midst of this, you are still in control. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hey, y'all can throw your amens and all that up there. I'll let it run a few more minutes so y'all can throw some of those up there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, after I'm done with this, I'm going to share it out and uh, put it on YouTube for a couple other people to watch. And hopefully next time I do this, I'll be able to... Uh, actually be able to have it on YouTube because here at the house, I don't have the ability like I do at the church to, to put it to all those other places. So, amen. Love you guys. Uh, hey, be safe out there and uh, just don't go running the roads for no reason and go pray for some people and go love on some people. Amen. All right. God bless you. I love you. And I can't wait to see you again.